The world's first bridge was constructed around 1300 BC and is located in Argolis, Greece. Named the Arcadico Bridge, it was part of a major trade route between Tiryns and Epidwaros. But today it sees drastically less traffic as it's largely only used by locals and otherwise ignored by the rest of the world. But ever since man built the Arcadico Bridge, we have continued erecting longer and more dramatic bridges. Not only to transport travelers, but to flaunt the marvels of modern engineering. Nonetheless, many modern bridges are absolutely deaf to find across, and that's why today we're looking at the top 10 most dangerous bridges in the world. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Trift Bridge, Switzerland. The Alpine region of Switzerland, more commonly known as the Swiss Alps, is home to one of the world's most famous mountain ranges. In fact, the region is so infamous that it attracts some 80 million visitors every year. And to keep this massive influx of people entertained, there are over 600 resorts and more than 10,000 ski installations. Yeah, I didn't stutter there. 10,000. This massive amount of activity also accounts for a very necessary portion of the local economy. In fact, tourism is nearly a $55 billion a year industry in the Alps, and it provides nearly 12% of all local jobs. But with elevations reaching 4,634 feet, many of the attractions are not for the faint of heart. A crowning example is the Trift Bridge. This simple suspension bridge spans nearly 170 meters or 560 feet and dangles at a perilous height of 330 meters. If you are bold enough to cross this structure and foolish enough to look down, you're gonna find yourself with a one-of-a-kind view of Lake Triftsee, a relatively new lake that was formed in 2002 by the melting of a nearby Trift Glacier. Finally, if you feel the need to cross this hair-raising bridge, you will have to first get to it. Reaching the bridge takes a 10-minute ride in a cable car which holds about 8 people. After disembarking the cable car, tourists still face a grueling 90-minute hike to reach the top. And despite the accessibility issues, the bridge still attracts a shocking 2,000 crossers annually. Number 9. Caracarete Rope Bridge, Northern Ireland. This rope bridge in Northern Ireland connects the mainland to the tiny island of Caracarete. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, but eh, who's counting at this point? This terrifying bridge spans 20 meters and suspends pedestrians 98 feet above the rocks and water that pass beneath. For over 350 years, fishermen have been building bridges across the expanse in the hopes of fishing nearby salmon populations. However, as time went on, the salmon populations decreased and the bridge itself became a bustling tourist attraction. Despite the terrifying view down, and nearly 500,000 people every year come to test their grit walking across the narrow swaying structure. Those who do make it on the bridge are treated to a spectacular view of Rathlin Island and the coast of Scotland. However, just because you have the nerve to walk under the bridge doesn't mean you can stomach the trek twice. In fact, many people panic past the halfway point and have to be carefully aided to the other side. This means that boats are frequently brought in to transport terrified tourists back to the mainland where they are unable to cross over the bridge for a second time. Number 8. Capilano Suspension Bridge, Canada. Built in 1889, the Capilano Suspension Bridge crosses the Capilano River in North Vancouver, British Columbia, and Canada. At the moment, though, it's located in a private facility where tourists can pay $43 to walk across. The site draws over 1.2 million visitors per year. The Capilano isn't just any bridge, though. This massive bridge is 460 feet long and 230 feet off the ground. Shockingly, this amazing structure was first built in 1889 by George Grant McKay using hemp ropes and cedar planks. But in 1903, it was reinforced with wire cables and has experienced very few upgrades since then. And if the stunning view from nearly 250 feet in the air wasn't enough to attract tourists, numerous native communities contributed historic totem poles to the area, and nowadays the area serves as a cultural landmark where you can learn about native history while testing your nerves on the Capilano Bridge. Number 7. Vitim River Bridge, Russia The Baikal Amur Mainline, or BAM Road, is considered one of the toughest extreme routes in the world. It runs along the Trans-Siberian Railway, and thrill-seekers from around the world test their limits by traversing the 3,140-kilometer trail every year. This daring route crosses what many consider to be Russia's least traversable terrain, a jarring path through northern Siberia. Among the many obstacles along the BAM Road is a bridge known as the Vitim River Bridge. The Vitim River Bridge is the same width as a car and made from old deteriorated railway wood. 
Yes, a skilled driver can cross it in three minutes, but what they face during those 180 seconds is enough to haunt them for a lifetime. The Vatim River Bridge is notoriously unstable and things aren't made any better by the fast moving and freezing water below. In addition to strong winds, heavy currents, and a narrow pathway, the Vatim River Bridge has absolutely no railing. The journey is actually so harrowing that during heavy winds, motorists have to roll down their windows to lower wind resistance and to keep them from blowing off the bridge into the freezing waters below. Number 6. Marienbruck, Germany Our number 6 entry is more notorious for what it is attached to than as a standalone structure. The Marienbruck Bridge crosses a gorge behind Neuschwanstein Castle, a Romanesque revival palace on a rugged hill above the village of Hochenschwangu near Fussen in southwest Bavaria, Germany, and I am quite sure I just butchered every single word in that sentence. The castle was built in honor of a man named Richard Wagner and was the home to Ludwig II of Bavaria. When his mother, Maria of Prussia, passed away, Ludwig II built the bridge and named it for her. Marienbruck means Mary's Bridge, and is a standing memorial to Ludwig's mother. The bridge then spans the Polot Gorge at a height of over 300 feet. To put that in perspective, the notorious Brooklyn Bridge is just about 135 feet from the water. Those who do brave the Marienbruck, however, are rewarded with a stunning view of the castle that can't be gleaned from any other location. Number 5. Royal Gorge Bridge, USA as the highest bridge in the United States, this destination is not for the faint of heart. Located in Colorado, USA, this engineering marvel was built in 1929 and spans 1,260 feet across Arkansas River, as well as also being 1,053 feet below. It is constructed from a mix of steel and timber, including over 1,292 wooden planks. Despite being a major tourist attraction, the Royal Gorge Bridge was almost lost forever in 2013 when a wildfire destroyed most of the nearby structures, including the visitor center and a cable car system. It seemed as if the fire would envelop the bridge too. However, it left only portions of the bridge scorched and it was restored and reopened in August of 2014. Number 4. Agile de Moody Bridge, France this bridge may be one of the shortest on today's list, but that makes it no less terrifying, which is large because it's suspended 12,500 feet above sea level. This bridge is drilled into the side of the Chamonix Mont Blanc, widely considered the highest peak in Europe. And if the surely knee-wobbling height of the bridge isn't enough to do you in, there is also a skywalk on location that allows visitors to step into a glass box suspended over the expansive valley. And if you're looking for an even bigger thrill, you could always fly under it in a wingsuit like this guy did but we probably wouldn't recommend that one. Number 3. Langkawi Skybridge, Kita, Malaysia The Langkawi Skybridge is a major tourist attraction in Kita, Malaysia. The bridge is so tall that if someone were to fall from it, they would take about 22 seconds to hit the ground, and when they did, they would be traveling at 724 kilometers an hour, or roughly the speed of a commercial airliner. In fact, the Langkawi Sky Bridge is 2,170 feet off the ground and 410 feet long. This absolute marvel of engineering was completed in 2005 and is only accessible via cable car. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The pick I have for today may be one of the most terrifying bridges we've seen today. Number 2. Titleist Bridge, Switzerland. As the highest suspension bridge in Europe, the Titleist Bridge in Switzerland is certainly noteworthy. This 320-foot-long bridge is suspended 10,000 feet above sea level and costs around $1.3 million to build. It was specifically designed in the hopes of becoming a tourist attraction, and it didn't disappoint either. In the first two weeks it was open, the bridge had nearly 500 visitors cross it. The turnout was actually even more surprising given that many media outlets dubbed it the world's scariest bridge and Switzerland tourism has called it a high adrenaline kind of new adventure. Now, before we get to our number one entry, let's have a look at some honorary mentions. Most of the bridges on today's list have the potential to be dangerous, and let's face it, even if everything goes according to plan, they're pretty terrifying experiences. But there are two bridges which have notoriously high fatality counts. Both of these bridges are tragically the site of thousands of suicides every year. The first one being the Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge in China had been the site of over 2,000 suicides by 2006. This makes it the bridge with the highest suicide rate in the world, allowing it to surpass the Golden Gate Bridge, which remains the second deadliest bridge in the world. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe, 
subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, Deception Pass Bridge, Washington. Deception Pass is the name given to a pair of bridges in the state of Washington. In total, they span nearly 1490 feet. It accommodates both pedestrians and vehicle traffic at a height of nearly 200 feet. This massive structure was built in 1935 and required over 1,590 tons of steel to construct and today accommodates nearly 20,000 cars per day. The bridges, while often referred to as Deception Pass, are made of Deception Pass itself and a second bridge known as Canoe Pass. The use of the word pass refers to the original purpose for their construction, which was to allow horses and buggies to cross over the river while allowing large ships to pass below. Which bridge on today's list was your favorite? Which ones would you never walk across? Let us know in the comments below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.